guys, welcome to my channel. This is Tamina Banks on Junior Bean. So we're going to be talking about the collaboration between Flutterwave and PayPal. So recently, we got we saw on the news that PayPal had collaborated with PayPal to enable African merchants to be able to accept and give payment on their platform. Now, this is fantastic, you guys. This is, while it is very laudable because um, payment is, is one of the pain points that e-commerce um, practitioners in Africa and Nigeria experience. Um, PayPal is not friendly to Nigerians at all. I remember doing a video some time back on how you can get payment on pay your payment, your PayPal payment here in Nigeria. Somebody reached out to me that things are where you, you don't you realize that um, even though yeah this thing may work at any time PayPal can just close down your account. And I had to take down that video because I, I I didn't want to put people through that hassle. Do you understand? So yeah, so when I saw the news that Flutterwave had um, collaborated with PayPal to bring about this integration where um, African countries, over 50 African countries, can you can now receive payment on PayPal. With this collaboration, what it means, what is happening right now is that you can enable payment so you as a merchant through the flutterwave platform you can receive payment from paypal users so that's 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 a great news okay that's fantastic that's good to hear so um now i want to fill you guys in because there seems to be a lot of misinformation out there about the integration okay so who is eligible to make use of this new feature so according to flutterwave for now only businesses that are registered can make use of the new integration um feature now what does this mean it means that only businesses that have been registered with the government for instance in nigeria we have the corporate affairs commission i don't know what obtains in other countries but if your business has been registered with the corporate affairs commission then you are eligible to make use of the feature right now okay so um if you have a registered business there, there is a business name whatever it has been registered and you are not currently on the flutterwave platform all you need to do is to sign up on the platform provide your the details that is going to be um, requested as a merchant because you know um, on the Plotterwave platform you can register as an in as a freelancer an individual an NGO there are different categorizations but you want to register as a merchant if your business has been registered okay that's a caveat now Plotterwave has said that in no distant future excuse me um, NGOs individuals freelancers will be able to access the feature but for now only registered businesses can access it so if you are on the platform and you are a registered business um it has a business name as a company whatever and you have provided your details to them uh, because they will ask you for those details your bvn means of identification and all of that so you are you are eligible to make use of the service of the feature if you are new, you don't have a Flutterwave account, but you want to be able to receive payment from abroad, okay, from outside the country, all you need to do is to get your business registered. That's all. And if, you, if, you, if your business has already been registered, so how then you can you make access use of the, the service? service? Because I can hear somebody asking me that, okay, I have my CAC documents. How do I, how can I make use of it? So it's very simple. All you need to do is to sign up on the flutterwave platform if you have not if you are not a user currently of the flutterwave platform all right so you want to sign up okay provide all the details like i said because they are going to require you to provide those details your bvn um task identification number i for I, I, I almost forgot to mention that so you need to also have your task identity tax identification number and they are going to ask you all the normal anti-money laundering questions that finance companies have to 
have to get from you based on CBN's policy, that's the Central Bank of Nigeria. So you have to provide those details. And once you have that, then you're good. You, you can make use of the feature. So to enable the feature on your platform, it is not automatic. So let's, let's put that in mind. So you want to, in your dashboard, in your Flutterwave dashboard, you want to go to account settings okay you know that so you've fulfilled all righteousness you have all your documentations and everything is in place now how do you enable how are you going to enable this feature the paypal pay with paypal future future feature future <laughs> feature okay so you want to go to your dashboard and go to account settings i'm going to put it on the screen and just walk you guys through it go to account settings now, when you get to account settings, you are going to see a drop box of different options in the enable, enabling of payments portion of the website. Yeah, am I correct? Something just entered my eyes, you guys. They don't want me to teach you people how to do this thing. Our God will not agree for them. <laughs> so, yeah, so when you get to the account settings section, there are different boxes that you may want to tick depending on your type of business and how you intend to collect get payments okay you could enable payments with other um payment platforms like mobile money there are different there are different services you guys so they've listed that down you could enable payment with um ussd code you could enable payment with that like you see it on the screen okay so you want to click on enable pay with paypal right that's what you want to do that's 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 why we're here right pay with paypal <laughs> that's that's why we're here like, can imagine that's why we're here okay so when you do that um when you enable pay with paypal so people can pay you with paypal from any part of the world and you're not part of the global e-commerce space that's how you become part of the global e-commerce space okay <laughs> so yeah so once you've done that so you, you can your your customers can begin to pay you from anywhere in the world with paypal okay so that's that's a good news in the nigerian e-commerce space and we thank um, flutterwave and paypal for doing this for a lot of small businesses um online premiers e-commerce people okay so it's a it's a good day that's how you can receive PayPal money with your Flutterwave account. Okay, it's very simple, guys. Really, really, very, very simple. I have done videos about Flutterwave because Flutterwave, they have been amazing with providing solutions for African online um, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs generally because it's not the only people who do business online that make use of the service um i've done a video on how you can create virtual cards with butter by flutter with flutter wave has different payment services so butter by flutter wave is one of their services and i've done a video on how you can create virtual cards how you can create instagram ads facebook ads using the butter by flutter wave so this enable um with paypal option for the flutter wave platform itself it is laudable we are excited and like they said for individuals ngo freelancers they say hold on hold my wine glass we are coming we are coming okay but for now it is only registered businesses that can access the services now somebody may be saying okay how do i register my business i have done a video you can check it out here or here or anywhere <laughs> on how you can register a business name by yourself okay in nigeria if you are based in nigeria but if you want to register a limited liability company a proper company 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 then talk to your girl okay my email is in the description box and we can fix you up we can work that out for you wherever you are in the world so yeah so we are going to end this video here i hope it was informative remember to give it a thumbs up okay thumbs up and let me know in the comment section do you have a flutterwave account have you made use of flutterwave is this is this something that you are excited about so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i will see you guys in my next one bye